Hello everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about the one of the most important document and the purpose of that document that is called design pressure, design temperature document. Okay, and company to company, industry to industry, its name could be different but this document is definitely prepared by the engineering companies whether you are a process engineer instrumentation engineer piping engineer mechanical engineers that document you definitely refer okay so if you are working in any epc company or in designing company please watch this video completely because it is going to help you a lot so what we are going to discuss in this video we are going to discuss that what is the purpose of the design temperature and design pressure document right this is not a deliverable it is a internal document right or we can say it is a referring document we refer this document to build another deliverables you can say or we this document help as an input document right for example a wall list a process engineer prepares a wall list right then piping engineer build a boq right so process engineer provide a input to the piping engineer right same happens here okay so let's discuss about the what is the function of this document so the one of the most important function is that it is it provide the systematic approach to design pressure and design temperature what is the meaning of it it means that see if you are working in any project right so there will be the cooling water line there will be the chilled water line there will be process water line right there will be the process water line there will be dmw line there will be chilled water line there will be cooling water line right so it what this document provide this document provide the design pressure and design temperature for the these fluids okay this is the typical one okay this this is for the utility but there will be the instrument air there will be the process air for example let's suppose you are dealing with the hydrocarbons so there will be the hydrocarbons as well if you are dealing with the chemical right so there will be the chemical as well for example as 202 i hope you are getting my point for example there is the h2so4 so but for all the fluid there will be the one separate line right now for that separate line there will be the different design pressure and design temperature i hope you are getting my point so this document provide provide one systematic approach for the design temperature and design pressure okay it will give you the what is the design pressure for that moc the moc also plays an important role okay for which fluid which moc you are using okay then what is the design condition for that moc based on the moc you will see that we also we also classify based on moc based on rating okay and then we give the design pressure and design temperature right what i want to tell you that i want to tell you if you know the design pressure and design temperature when you know the rating okay you also know the moc so it helps you a lot to prepare the another document i hope you got my point what i want to say now same when we have prepared the design pressure or design temperature document so it will help us to prepare our deliverables for example line list wall list process flow diagrams process data sheet ipds etc right so what it will help means it we can refer the this document to prepare the line list wall list okay process flow diagram pds etc for example in psv sizing in psv sizing let's suppose you are doing the psv sizing now you have to give the design pressure of this vessel and this vessel is p 1101 now how will you or where you will you get the design pressure of or design temperature of this do, uh, this vessel from the dpdt right from the design pressure design temperature document right so in that document there will be the design pressure okay at the rate the temperature there will be the minimum pressure there will be the normal operating pressure same there will and there will be the pressure as well corresponding pressure as well same there will be the 
मैक्सिमम और डिजाइन टेम्परेचर नॉर्मल टेम्परेचर और द मिनिमम टेम्परेचर सो दिस डॉक्यूमेंट हेल्प अ लॉट वाइल साइजिंग वाइल डिजाइनिंग राइट ओके देन नेक्स्ट इज रेफरिंग डॉक्यूमेंट फॉर द प्रोवाइडिंग मैकेनिकल डिजाइन कंडीशन सेम विच आई हैव डिस्कस्ड अर्लियर फॉर पाइपिंग एंड इक्विपमेंट सिस्टम सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू साइज इफ यू वॉन्ट टू डिजाइन समथिंग ओके विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू पाइपिंग पाइपलाइन यू कैन से विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू इक्विपमेंट दैट कुड बी टैंक दैट कुड बी वेसल दैट कुड बी एनीथिंग एल्स सो इट हेल्प्स अ लॉट टू डिसाइड द डिजाइन कंडीशन देन टू सेलेक्ट एंड इवेल्युएशन ऑफ द पाइपिंग क्लास डिजाइन ओके सी बेस्ड ऑन दिस डिजाइन प्रेसर डिजाइन टेम्परेचर यू कैन क्लासीफाई द और यू कैन गिव द रेटिंग ओके फॉर एग्जाम्पल इट कुड बी कम एट वन फिफ्टी रेटिंग इट कुड बी कम एट थ्री हंड्रेड रेटिंग इट कुड बी कम एट दी सिक्स हंड्रेड रेटिंग ओके बेस्ड ऑन डेट वट विल हैपन द एमओसी मीन्स कॉस्ट विल इंक्रीज द कॉस्ट विल इंक्रीज वाई कॉस्ट विल बी इंक्रीज कुड यू लेट मीन द कमेंट्स बॉक्स वाई कॉस्ट विल बी द इंक्रीज because the schedule will increase okay thickness of the pipe will increase right so these are the some points for that we use the design pressure design temperature document company to company the document name could be different but that document will be definitely prepared okay so please let me in the comments box say when you prepare the line list okay so from where you provide the design temperature and design pressure okay please let me in the comments box if you are preparing the pds of the vessel so from where you put the design temperature and design pressure and what is the minimum temperature in at, at which this vessel is going to be operate and what is the maximum or the design temperature or pressure of that vessel which is where it is going to operate okay so please let me in the comments box so that's all for the today's video i hope you understood what is the purpose of the design temperature pressure document okay again i would like to tell you this is not a deliverable this is a input document or referring document right so i hope you understood about the design pressure and temperature document so that's all for the today's video thanks for watching till then keep learning thank you